There's a new study out from Harvard Medical School about how stress really is a big time killer. And now researchers think they know why that is. Quote, comparing blood samples taken during work hours and off duty, as well as the results of stress perception questionnaires, the researchers found a link between stress and the immune system. Particularly, they noticed stress activates bone marrow stem cells, which in turn triggered overproduction of white blood cells. White blood cells are crucial in wound healing and fighting off infection, but they can turn against their host with devastating consequences for people with diseases like arthrosclerosis, which is the thickening of the artery walls caused by a plaque buildup. So that's the key point. Basically what this means is, because of stress, it triggers an increase in white uh, blood cell production and buildup, and then that ends up clogging your arteries and leads to heart attacks and, and stroke. And it's basically a problem that's right alongside high cholesterol and high blood pressure and diet and, you know, all types of environmental factors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But see, to me, the takeaway from this story, which is why I, I'm bringing it up today, is that Apparently, staying stress-free is just as important as diet and exercise. Now, I know a lot of people are going, well, that's obvious, man. Why are we talking about that? But no, I mean, not really. There's a lot of people out there who are in the pro-stress camp, for lack of a better term. People who say, fuck it, you gotta fight through it, you gotta double down, you gotta force yourself to go to work when you feel like shit, and do this, and do that, and drive yourself crazy, and... No, 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 it's actually very, very important to be in favor of comfort and in favor of de-stressing. So, I mean, I think this it, there are other implications to this study that other people might not draw from it, but I think what this means is you should stay stress-free however possible as long as you're not hurting anybody else, of course. And that means, honestly, I think that this study, whether or not they realize it, it's it's a a backhanded endorsement of recreational drugs, for example. Like, why do you think people smoke marijuana? You know, why do you think people have a few drinks of alcohol? Why do you think people do whatever kind of downer it is that they might get from their doctor, if it's Klonopin or Xanax or what have you, anti-anxiety medication? They do it because they're so fucking stressed and wound up, you know? And they need that relaxation. They need to press that reset button at the end of the day. And what this study is saying to me is, no, no, that's absolutely right. Don't, you know, don't try to take the, well, uh, I think it's healthier to not put substances in my body and I'll just be stressed until the day I die at 54 when I drop dead because I'm so crazy. No, no, don't, don't stress yourself into an early grave, man. Now, look, at the same time, I'm not advocating, well, hey, man, this means you should binge drink every single night and give yourself cirrhosis of the liver. No, that's stupid. Moderation in everything. As long as you're, look, a lot of personalities can't do that. There are some people who, for whatever reason, you know, they're all or nothing. Like, if they start drinking, man, their personality flips and they can't stop drinking until they down an entire body uh, bottle of Jack Daniels, you know? But if you're one of the uh, probably overwhelming majority of people that can do these things in a moderate way, okay, then do it, man. Have a couple drinks, you know, smoke a little weed, take a Xanax at the end of the day to unwind. And uh, I think, at least based off this study and some other things that I've read, that'll probably add just as much time to your life as eating healthy will, as doing regular exercise will. De-stressing is very important, and we shouldn't, you know, put it aside or act like it's not as important as the rest. It's very important, and we should put an onus on it in the future.